Sports to the Bone family! Greetings, 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 my viewers and subscribers! Welcome back, welcome back to the channel! So it is time! Time for me to give you guys my playing 11. Now, tomorrow, West Indies will go up against uh, the USA as they start their process of trying to qualify for the 2023 staging of the ICC ODI World Cup. Now, before I go down into my playing 11, just a quick reminder, this is just my thing, personal. This is not me predicting the playing 11. I have no sort of control over who the captain and the selectors will use. This is me just looking at the squad and saying, these are the 11 players that I would put together as a unit to try and get them to win a game. You notice the comment section is always open. If you disagree with my playing 11, you can just go in the comment section and let me know the 11 that you would use. Remember, I have no control over who plays or who don't play. So let us go get straight into it. So we open with the guys, the two guys that we have been using together for a little while now. Brandon King and Kyle Mayers. We have been opening with these guys and um, I am going to go with them again. We know Brandon King would have said that he is capable of batting anywhere from the top, from, from, from number one to six. You understand? So we are going to ask him to open. King and... and, 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 and uh, and Mayers open. And we know Kyle Mayers, he's going to go and do his thing. Number three, this is where I'm going to start to get my first set of lashing. And the number three spot I am playing, um, it's not clear cut. Maybe by tomorrow morning before the game start, you know, I might say a change in it. But as of now, I have Shamar Brooks playing. Right? Um, it was a tough call. I really want Johnson Charles to play. But the fact that we have Kyle Mears and Brandon King opening and they have been opening together as a unit are going, um, I need somebody in the top order there that I think going to settle down and bat. You understand? I still know that he's a man that likes to get out in the 30s and the 40s. But more often than not, when he gets out in the 30s and the 40s, he's outscoring most of the other guys. You understand? So we're going to give him um, the first game. If things don't work, then I definitely bring in Johnson Charles, probably, you understand? Or maybe it's too soon. I give him the first two games and then Johnson Charles um, get the other games. So, that is the three. At number four, we have uh, Shea Hope. Shea Hope plays at number four. We'll be looking to solidify things and we'll be looking to um, get things uh, settled. I mean, seeing that Shea Hope is now batting at number four, I probably could even understand not playing um, Shamar Brooks, you know. With Shea Hope batting at four, maybe I could take the risk and say, all right, let me go Johnson Charles. I know Brandon King, Kyle Mears, they, they are shot makers. You understand? Devon, uh, you know, Johnson Charles batting at three is going to be a shot maker just the same. But then we have, um, we have uh, Shea Hope batting at four, who we think will be somebody that will settle down and bat. So I probably can understand why some people are calling for, for Charles to bat at three and drop Brooks because you have... Um, she hope coming at four. At number five, we have um, Nicholas Puran, the former captain. Uh, it's about time Puran win us, help to win us some game. You know, some some important games. We're talking about World Cup games. You know, we're looking for match winning knocks from Puran. We're looking for centuries. Maybe by the time he comes in, we are only able to get some quick seventy and quick eighties. I can understand, but we will take them nonetheless. So he comes in at number five. At number six, we have Ravman Powell. The vice captain for the team will be looking to play an important role out there. Um, Ravman Powell has scored a century in the warm up game just uh, just the other day. So, you know, we're definitely hoping that he will come uh, good for us. So, he bats at six. At number seven, we have Jason Holder with all the experience. Hasn't done a lot with the bat um, recently, you know, but I want him in the team because he's bowling 10 of my overs. I trust him um, to go out there as a senior player and give me 10 good overs, you know, so he's, he, he's there. Uh, the next all-round spot now is between Romario Shepard and Kimo Paul. Um, Romario Shepard is in good batting form and um, this is where it's a little bit sticky because I am playing Jason Hola 
I am asking him to score me some runs because I know that playing with Mario Shepard would mean that you know I would be getting some runs in the back end from him but I probably can't trust him to bowl 10 overs and based on how our bowling lineup is looking I trust um, Hola to give me 10 overs instead of Romario Shepard right now because we only have Azari Joseph that we are sure of you understand and then you know so, so I, 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 Jason Hola please so as I said between Shepard now and Kimo Paul I go with Kimo Paul because Kimo Paul I am going to want him to take the new ball with um, Azari Joseph some people might make a case to say you know they will leave out Hola and, and play both Shepard and um, Shepard and, and Kimo Paul to start to start off the tournament to set the pace I am going with my senior man Jason Hola and then I'm going with Kimo Paul as I said, he will be taking the new ball from me alongside um, Azari Joseph. So he plays. Um, at number that he would be at 8. At 9, we have uh, Yannick Karaya. Yannick Karaya is, has done well. And, you know, there's no reason to leave him out of the team. He's going to be that, that second spinner alongside Akil Hussein. So Yannick Karaya and then Akil Hussein. Those are my two spinners. Ideally, I would want a third spinner somebody that can give me five overs you understand um talking about a specialist batsman that can bowl but i don't have a specialist batsman that i can trust to give me five overs a spin so i am going to ask uh, one of the all-rounders to give me some seam up if anything kyle Mears is there the good thing is he makes the team right now as an opening batsman a specialist batsman and he's going to give me um can give me those five overs that i would ask a spinner to give me a third spinner you know I'm expecting him to if the ball is if the pitch is not lively for pace I'm expecting him to use his skills move the ball around and 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 you know vary his pace and give me those five overs Ravman Poyla probably won't bank on him too much because you know he isn't doing a lot of bowling but um, those are my two spinners in the team right there and uh, finishing off I have Alzari Joseph so Alzari Joseph is a clear pick now in terms of what we are going to do to win the game you know we need we need to make sure that um you know we can't take anything for granted out there we want to go out there be aggressive if we are batting first the aim should be to score uh 350 upwards of 340 350 there about you understand that would mean that the top order need to fire somebody need to bat through the innings are pretty close to the end of the innings um we can't we can't afford any collapse you know we cannot afford for the to get a start at the top and then the middle the, the middle are the batsmen basically slow it down we don't want that um when it comes down to to shepherd and and if he's in the team or our chemo paul and these guys we should be looking for them to push on the runs push on the scoring because we would have had a a solid foundation already um the guys at the top they don't need to all they need to do is play sensible cricket you know, um, if we lose a couple of wickets, uh, we still have guys at the back end. And then we know if we need one man to try and hold it while the others go, uh, Yannick Carey is a man that can dig in and bat for a little while and he's batting low. So the batting has to be sharp. Um, in terms of the bowling, we need to hunt in pairs. We have to make sure that we are hunting in pairs in the sense that um, we cannot have pressure from one end and then the next end is sloppy. You know, we need to make sure that we are, the, the, the guys need to make sure that they are, um, you know, holding down both head. We don't want to get wickets at the top and then we basically drift away from the plan and allow them to, 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 to score runs. A lot of times I, I see where we could get teams out for 180, 200 and then, you know, from the last two or three wickets push on and get 280, 290. So we got to be careful where that is concerned and try and get the thing out of the way but for now that is my plane 11 i am going to leave it right here for now the game is tomorrow morning as i said so by later on today today i will definitely probably give you an update to my plane 11 an updated plane 11 or i will come on and, and and give you some more information where this is concerned so gonna leave it right there for now the comment section is open go ahead and let me know your plane 11 once again doesn't make any sense you come and um, say who shouldn't be in or who should not be in. Give me your plane 11. As I said, there is, I have no control over the over who plays. 
So this is just me giving my opinion. Comment section is open. Go ahead and give me your plain 11. Big up on yourself. Stay safe.